there are a ton of tools out there that just everybody talks about. However, running the Future Tools website, I've come across nearly 3,000 AI tools. So in this video, I want to show off some of the cool tools that I've come across that nobody talks about. Por ejemplo, esta herramienta aquí cambia tu voz en off a un idioma diferente, pero usa tu misma voz y hace que tus labios parezcan que estás hablando en el idioma al que acaba de cambiar el video. Zwei. Das ist total verrückt. Ich habe dieses Tool und noch mehr, die ich dir zeigen will, also lass uns anfangen. So the tool that I made that with is actually called Pagen Labs Video Translate. And it will actually let you generate up to two videos for free. After you've used your free credits, they do have various plans that you can upgrade to if you want to keep on using it in the future. I personally upgraded to the HeyGen Creator Plan for the sake of making this video, which is 29 bucks to get 15 credits. But this tool is really, really simple. Here's the video of my intro that we just watched here. If I just take this video, drag and drop it here into HeyGen Translate, pick a language that I want to translate into. I've already got it in Spanish and German. Let's go ahead and do it in Hindi. I can translate the audio only if I want. If I don't keep this selected, it will actually change my lips to make it look like I'm saying it. So if I go ahead and click submit, it's going to use one credit. It uploads the video. And after about five minutes of waiting, I've got my version in Hindi. Future tools website chalane ke bavajud. Mujhe lagbhag AI tools samne aya. Now, seeing as I don't speak German, I don't speak Hindi, and my Spanish is, well, pretty rough. I really don't know how well these did as far as the translation portion of it. Maybe you could let me know in the comments if you speak one of the languages. However, what I'm super impressed by is how it managed to change the look and make it actually look like I am the one speaking it. It actually changed my mouth movements and used my voice using 11 labs to make it actually sound like me. That piece of the technology is really impressive. But again, I'm actually not 100% sure how the translation itself went. You can find this one over at labs.heygen.com slash video dash translate. Next Next up is another really cool video tool that helps you remove the background from your videos. I've actually been getting comments from people and people emailing me lately thinking that I've got a green screen behind me because every once in a while I'll put myself down in the corner of the video and cut out my background, but this isn't a green screen. It's all real. I actually removed my background using AI rotoscoping. Personally, I do it inside of DaVinci Resolve, but here's a really simple tool that'll do it in a snap for you. It's called Unscreen, and you can find it over at unscreen.com. In fact, let's go ahead and take that same video clip example of my intro. I'll toss it in right here, and you can actually see in real time how quickly it's already processing it. Now, it's not 100%. You can see my hands kind of disappear from time to time. But if you need a quick solution and you don't have a green screen, something like this works fairly decent. And just for fun, I could toss some backgrounds behind me, put myself on a city street, in a space spiral, or in front of a kaleidoscope. There's all sorts of fun backgrounds that you could put yourself in front of. And this is essentially the same kind of technology that Zoom and tools like Google Meet use to remove the background behind you. Next up, I want to tell you about guide.com. This is another tool that has both free and paid plans but you can do quite a bit with the free plan. It's a tool that allows you to make tutorials on how specific processes work using AI. So if you have a task that's a repetitive task and you want to teach a team member how to do it, you can easily make a quick tutorial for that team member to follow along to. It uses a Chrome extension, which you can see added this little red G circle up in the top bar of my Chrome. And just for fun, let's walk through a process of how I actually make updates on the Future Tools website. So if I click this little G button up here, click capture, let's go ahead and just select employee training. My how to is how to add news to Future Tools. And then the language is English, so I'll click go. So the first step that I do is I come over to the left sidebar over here. I click on the little CMS button. I come over here to where it says news. I click on news and I come up to the top right where it says new news. I click on new news. I find my news by looking at feedly.com here. So here's some of the latest news that it found for me. Here's an article commercializing AI in healthcare. Let's go ahead and open this article here and let's go ahead and share this as the latest news article. So what I'll do is I will copy the name of the news article here, click copy, jump back over to our future tools dashboard, 
paste that into the name area for the article URL. I'm gonna grab the URL from our URL box here, click copy, jump back to Webflow, paste that as our article URL. For the source, this is a16z.com, so I'll go ahead and copy that, paste this as the source here, and then the publish date, I will select today's publish date and click publish under this dropdown. Now, if I jump back over to the Future Tools website and click on AI News, you can actually see we now have digital health builders commercializing AI in healthcare the jobs to be done. So that's how I add a new news post over on Webflow. Let's go ahead and click stop on guide here. And now you can see it is saving the graphics. It's basically creating the step-by-step -step for me. Down here, you can see it says typing. It's actually typing out the description for me. It's pulling in screenshots. It's automatically creating arrows of the buttons that I clicked on as I clicked through them. I can even have it create natural sounding voiceovers from the steps in the description. So I can select a speaker. Let's listen to Robert. Don't record, type it in. Get a natural sounding voiceover using text. So let's go ahead and use that voiceover. I'm just gonna do a quick check to make sure that all of the steps are correct. So you're clicking here on the CMS button. You're clicking on the news button. All of this was automatically generated. I didn't add any of this here. Click new news. So it switched to feedly.com. And now it says, click commercializing AI and healthcare, the jobs to be done. Now we don't want it to actually click that specific article. We just want it to click on the article that we wanna share as news. So let's go ahead and change that real quick. Click the article that you want to share. And I'm just gonna put that same text as our description here. And then it shows all of the steps that I did in this example. Now, when I pass this off to somebody, I would obviously tell them don't specifically switch to this website, but use the actual news website you're trying to share. And then down here, you can see it says switch to Webflow, click here, fill it in with this text. But obviously this is just an example. So they would know to fill it in with the proper text that they pulled from Feedly. And I have a full step-by-step -step process process of what to do to add a new news post to the website. Even shows them switch over to futuretools.io, click on AI news and double check it. And then let's go ahead and let it generate the speaker now. And it says video is ready. So let's click on watch. It'll scroll me all the way back up. Learn how to add news to future tools using a series of simple instructions. This guide will walk you through this. I could even speed up the guide. So whoever's watching this, they could watch it at 2x speed if that's more their pace steps required to create and publish news posts, as well as how to find and select relevant articles from external sources. Click here. Navigate to the news section. Create a new news post. Switch to Feedly.com. Click the article that you want to share. Navigate to A16Z.com. Select the article titled Digital Health Builders Commercializing AI in Healthcare. And you get the idea. It just created a whole automated tutorial. I spoke it out while I was doing it because I was, you know, making a video here, but you don't have to speak. You just hit record, do all the steps that need to be done, and then it uses AI to take screenshots, point arrows at what you're clicking, create the text of what you need to do next, and then you could just send that tutorial to somebody and they can follow along to the process and listen to this video guide. You don't actually have to speak it out. This tool is really helpful. Again, you can find it over at guide.com. Next, I wanna tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is HubSpot and their cool AI tool called Campaign Assistant, which is their free AI marketing asset creator. This is a completely free AI tool that writes your marketing copy for you. It will write things like your landing page content, your marketing emails, your Google search ads, your Facebook ads, your LinkedIn ads, and pretty soon your Instagram ads. Let's go ahead and have it create some landing page content for us. So we'll select this, click Next, what is your campaign about? A website that curates all the latest tools in the artificial intelligence space. We find and share only the most interesting and unique tools and then try to get discounts for you from the creators of the tools. Click next. What do you want your audience to know about? What makes you stand out? We review all the latest tools in the AI space. We sort through the bad and sketchy tools and only surface the good stuff. We try to work out discounts and deals with the creators of the tools to save you money. Click next. What do you want your audience to do? Let's go ahead and do subscribe. Click next. For writing style, I tend to want to go humorous. It lets us select up to three options. Let's go humorous, creative, and friendly. And now it's building our landing page content. Discover the future of AI tools, curating the best, saving you money. Unleash the power of AI. At Future Tools, we are dedicated to bringing you the latest and greatest tools in the artificial intelligence space. Quality over quantity. When it comes to AI tools, we believe in quality over quantity. Save big with future tools. Not only do we bring you the best AI tools, but we also strive to save you money, etc. And then when we're ready, we can actually click create free landing page and it will jump us directly over to HubSpot's landing page builder. And it already filled in all the copy for us. Now we just gotta go through and add in images and other creatives to this page 
before we can launch it. And with all of the content that we've already plugged in, we can come up here and click create new asset and let's make a Facebook ad out of it. Click generate content. It's gonna use all of the data that we've already inputted and generate a Facebook ad ready to go for us. In fact, it generated three. Discover the latest and most unique AI tools handpicked just for you. Tired of sifting through sketchy AI tools? We do the work for you. Looking for the best AI tools? Look no further. And so it created all of these ads for us. This isn't just like any other AI writer. This is fine tuned to write ad copy for you to help you sell your products. So if you need that little extra creative boost to sell your products, try leveraging HubSpot's AI campaign assistant. It's free to use and the link is in the description. Thanks once again to HubSpot for sponsoring this video. Speaking of writing, here's another tool you may not have heard of yet. It's called TextFX and it was created in collaboration with Lupe Fiasco and Google. So you can find it over at textfx.withgoogle.com. And if I come down to the bottom and click launch TextFX, there's all sorts of cool tools in here to help you come up with creative text for whatever you're doing. For example, they have similes. Create a simile about a thing or a concept. So enter a thing or a concept. Now it lets us use up to 25 characters and let's put AI software and click run. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna try to find some similes that are related to AI software. AI is like a child who knows everything but lacks the wisdom to understand what it knows. Pretty good. The AI was like a room filled with mirrors, reflecting back every thought and action, magnifying the smallest details until they were impossible to ignore. It's got the explode tool, break a word into similar sounding phrases. So this time we can only enter one word. So let's do software. I'll click run and similar sounding things or words, sawware, so software, sewerware, so few are. So it finds things that sound very similar. Now this was originally designed for like raps and poems and things like that, but it's just great for alliteration. If you're trying to get creative with your writing and your emails and your copy or your scripts or whatever, this has so many tools to help you get through those creative blocks. Unexpect, make a scene more unexpected and imaginative. An office, an office that is filled with clowns. An office that is located inside of a giant gumball machine. Build a chain of semantically related items. So if I type software, computer, disk, save, file, cabinet, closet, shelf, POV, evaluate a topic through different points of views. Let's put artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence will make our lives easier in ways we can't even imagine. It's the next big thing. It's a fad going to take over all our jobs. So it has all sorts of different perspectives, a threat to humanity, and we need to be careful. Alliteration, curate topic specific words that start with a chosen letter. So for a topic, let's do cameras starting with the letter L and let's run it. LCD, LCD display, LCD screen, Leica, lens, lens cap, lens flare, acronyms, create an acronym using letters of a word, wolf. Let's run that. Wildness of life freely expressed. Working opportunities lead to financial elevation. Cool, find intersections between two things. And what's cool is every single one of these tools has a button here that says look under the hood. So if I click look under the hood here, it shows you some examples of fuse. Thing one and thing two. Thing one, airplane, thing two, grass. What are the similarities? Both an airplane and grass defy gravity in their own way. An airplane by flying through the air and grass by standing tall against the gravitational pull of the earth. A book and a smoothie. Both a book and a smoothie can provide a sense of escape and transport the user to another world. A smoothie with its tropical flavors and aromas and a book with its vivid descriptions and imaginative words. Scene, generate sensory details about a scene. Let's look under the hood. New York City subway car. A discarded slushy cup dripping red liquid onto a seat, the conductor saying something over the speaker, but the sound is too muffled to make out what they're saying, etc. And finally, unfold, slot a word into other words or phrases. So for example, space, outer space, spacesuit, space age, backspace, space heater, parking space. This is just a tool to help those creative juices going when you're trying to write something or create something or generate music or things like that. It's a tool designed to be a human AI collaboration and not just let AI do all the work for you. Next up, I wanna point you to Civit AI. If you use Stable Diffusion and you install it locally, you've probably been to this site to download various models so that you can generate images in different styles. But what's really cool about Civit AI now is they actually have their own art generator where you can generate art based on models that they have on their site already. So let me go ahead and clear this. 
And if I click on add model, you can see here's some popular models that are on the site that you can use. But if you wanna sort through the models and kind of see some examples of what that sort of art will look like, you can come over to models. I highly recommend having this little eyeball turned off. There is a lot of not safe for work content on here. You can come up to this filter and if you select this button that says on-site generation, it will show you the models that are available that you can actually generate from directly within the website. So let's say for example, I really like this SDXL unstable diffuser Yammer mix here. I could click in here and actually see some images that were generated with this model. And let's say I wanna use this model. I can actually select this up here, SDXL unstable diffusers, copy it. If I click on create here and then click add model, I can paste this model in and it should be one of the ones that's available here. We can go ahead and select it. And let's say I just wanna generate an image that looks like this. I really like this image. I could click on info here and I can actually copy this same prompt, click on create, plug this into the prompt here, come over to our info here, click on negative prompt. We'll copy the negative prompt over, paste that in. We can see it uses a CFG scale of 15 and a hundred steps. And the sampler is the Euler A sampler. So let's go ahead and set that up. I could scroll down, let's set it on portrait, set this to Euler A, steps was 100, CFG scale was set to 15. And then if I wanted, I could use this exact same seed to get pretty close to the same image here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this seed on random here and I can click generate and then I should get some images that look fairly close to this image because it's using the same model and same prompt and same steps and sampler and CFG scale. And here's what it actually generated for me. This image, this image, this image, and this image, which are fairly close. I mean, this one came out really cool, but I just love the fact that you can actually test models directly on the Civit AI website and then if you do run Stable Diffusion on your own computer or in the cloud using something like Run Diffusion, you've already tested the model and know what kind of images it will generate before you actually download it and run them on your computer. Now, generating on Civit AI, in my experience, has been fairly slow. You still get much faster results by running them locally or in a cloud host like Run Diffusion, but it is a great way to sort of sample it before downloading a six and a half gigabyte file. Once again, be careful. There is a lot of not safe for work content on this website. If you turn off this little eyeball here, you will probably see a lot of naked bodies. And then finally, the last tool I wanna to talk about is actually another tool from Google. It's called AutoDraw. I don't know why more people aren't talking about this. It's a fun little tool. Helps you make really, really simple drawings. So for example, I really suck at drawing with a mouse. Honestly, I really suck at drawing just in general, but let's say I wanna draw a car. I can start to draw like the outline of a car like this. There's a little wheel well, there's another wheel well, here's a wheel inside of it, here's a wheel inside of it. And up here it says, did you mean? And it gives me some other examples. It's got a car. I can just click on that and it generates a car close to what I was trying to draw. Here's some other examples. And then they have even more detailed examples that I can select if I wanted. Let's say I wanna draw a penguin. I've made a lot of videos in the past where I try to draw a penguin. So here's my version of a penguin. I'll start with a circle. I'll draw a little head, draw some little feet here, a little foot here. Look at this. It already knew that I was drawing a penguin. I can click that and it generates this penguin for me and it has some other versions of penguins that I can use. Maybe I wanna draw a cat. Let's draw a little head. See, not even that great at drawing circles. Put some cat ears on it, some whiskers like that. Let's put an eye here and an eye here. Look, boom, it drew a cat for me. So just a fun little tool to wrap this up. If you're bad at drawing with a computer and you want a little extra help, you can use autodraw.com from Google. You can then go in and you know fill it in and color the stuff. I wanna make the car yellow, I wanna make the tires black. You know, It basically turns it into Microsoft Paint after that. These are all tools that use AI that I pulled from the Future Tools website that I've not really seen anybody else talking about or making videos about, but you might find useful. And I plan on doing videos like this once or twice a month where I dig through the archives of the Future Tools website and uncover some tools that nobody's talking about, but actually have pretty useful, handy use cases. So if you wanna see more videos like that, as well as the end of the week AI news videos, the occasional tutorial and AI challenge, Make sure you subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up and I'll make sure more videos like this show up in your feed. And if you haven't already, check out the Future Tools website. This is the site where I pulled these tools from. This is where I curate all of the cool AI tools that I come across. I add new tools every single day. I also keep up to date with the AI news on this website. 
And all of my latest videos from YouTube are published on the site as well. So you have one easy place to find them all. You can find it all over at futuretools.io. So thank you so much for tuning into this video. Hopefully you found a new tool that you might find useful in your daily workflow. But either way, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. You rock. And thanks again to HubSpot for sponsoring this one. I really appreciate it. Companies like HubSpot really truly helped me live my dream of continuing to make cool and fun videos like this one for you. So thanks again to them. And thanks again to you. I really, really appreciate you. And I'm excited to nerd out with you some more in my next video. Have a good one. See you later. Bye-bye.